never knew how much I loved you Never knew how much I cared When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night Hi guys, this is how to play uh, Fever by The Cramps, or The Cramps version. This song has been covered a hell of a lot, but this version has this cool little E minor pentatonic scale riff in it, and that's the purpose of these series of videos. Starting off with your open E string, but we kind of instantly either keep your palm down the whole time, or just kind of mute it straight after to get a short sharp. And rather than doing it with your pick itself, I'd like you to do it with the outside of your hand. And then we put your middle finger down at your second note of your E minor pentatonic scale. Third fret with your middle finger. So open, middle. First note, second note. Nice and easy. And then we have both of those again. So one, two, three, four. The fourth one is just a little bit sooner timing wise. One, two, three, four. Four. Just a little bit sooner. And then we finish that with your first finger at second fret of the A string. So again, as you'll notice from this sequence of, of videos, um, all these riffs stay mainly in scale order, but they do tend to miss maybe one note out when they're going in that sequence. Um, and this is what makes a melody or a riff different to a scale but they are very similar. So one, two, three, four, five, straight to the B note, and then we re repeat it again, which is another thing that riffs have to do, and you should be learning with that first E minor pentatonic scale. Cycling the scale is the same as cycling these riffs. And it's just that last note that can be a little bit longer. All the rest of them want to be nice and short, really. So play along with me, nice and slow, in a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. stop there. Definitely one that you should be able to play along to the record. If you haven't heard their version, it's really cool. Um, check it out. There's just one little run at the end from when he starts singing. So we have this first time, well this first riff, three times. So one, two, third time, And then we play the B note again, up and D, and then second fret on the D string, which is your E, takes us up to our octave. Those last three notes, one, two, three, one, two, three. One more time, second fret on the A, up and D, second fret on the D string. And then we have a little run down, which is where it gets a little bit tricky. Some of you will be able to do it, some of you won't. If this is super new to you, this is going to be the trickier part. Don't worry about it. It does sound very cool, though. Everyone loves a little run down like that. Second fret on the, on the A string, starting from the B note again, straight to open. So we are going down in scale order this time. Second to open, and they're the quicker two. And then third fret with your middle finger on the E string. Second fret on that same E string, and then to your open E string. In total, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The eagle eyed amongst you will notice that that includes a note which isn't in your E minor scale. What are you on about, Andy? I thought we were doing riffs from your E minor scale. Well, this is another thing that riffs and songs do, 
they add extra notes that just sound good and this is why it's really important to get a few of these riffs and licks underneath your belt so the riff is just um, the main part of the song which is recognizable it has to be short has to be repetitive and it includes some kind of unique sequence so it doesn't have to be totally unlike anything you've ever played before it just has to be recognizable and then a little lick at the end is just the the lick is the fancy bit the the lick is the uh, a run down or or a sequence of notes that wouldn't be used um that that isn't repeated basically it's a cool bit but it isn't repeated so that's a lick and a riff has to repeat so one more time along to me and then i'd like you to play this along to the record as soon as you can it'd be really cool um so that's how to play this riff Please check out my other songs in this series of 10 songs showing you riffs and uh, lead lines and licks from lots of cool songs using this E minor pentatonic scale in this open position. If you can play this one, you can play all the others. So please check out the other songs. Please subscribe if you like what I do. Check out andyguitar.co.uk for the write-up on this lesson and to see the time. And I'm sure you'll, I'll see you again. Bye for now.